G'day Aspiring Engineers. This is a new series of tutorials. In this video I want to show you how to download one of the millions of free CAD files there on GrabCAD. Not only the how to, but also why you might want to download files from GrabCAD. So stick around. Welcome to the first of, well I don't know how many tutorials we're going to have, intermediate tutorials following on from the 16 basic Fusion 360 tutorials. So here's GrabCAD. Let's have a look at this. Look at that. 7.5 million members and not only that but over 4 million free CAD files. There's just a heap of stuff on here. And you can find just about anything you're after. So engineers are working on all sorts of things during the week. But what do they want to do? Well there's all this industrial equipment. Have a look at that. But uh, what do they really want to do? When they get home, they want to work on a model of their favorite car or their push bike or their fishing rod or their camera. So let's search for something. Let's try log splitter. And sure enough, there they all are. Let's try CNC milling machine. Plenty of them. Look at that. Homemade, desktop, industrial, you name it. Let's have a look at this one. Yep. Now the CAD files are all here and they're all free. You can download them. Let's, uh, let's go back and search for something else. I'm going to search for a Geneva mechanism. And there's a lot of those here. Here's a nice one. This one's by Yokesh KS. Let's click on that and have a look. And yes, we can download the files for free as usual. This one is mostly uh, SolidWorks. You see under software it says rendering and SolidWorks. And so SolidWorks was used to create this CAD model. So there's a few parts to it. This is nice and simple. You really just want to have a few nice, simple educational models to practice on for Fusion 360 when you're learning. We can actually download SOLIDWORKS files and we can import those into Fusion 360. That is, if you have three of the four license types. Now there is uh, one license type that people will commonly have with Fusion 360 which will not work. Let's just have a quick look at that. Here's a uh, an article put out by the Autodesk Knowledge Network. I'll put the link of this one in the description below so that you can read about the differences in the license types. Really there are very few differences. Here we've got the commercial, the startup and the personal, the personal use and you'll see here in this list that nearly everything is the same except for uh, file import. There's a difference there and also under design co collaboration. Nearly everything else is all the same and further down you see supported file formats. All of the commercial ones, Inventor, AutoCAD, Pro Engineer, SolidWorks, uh, Rhino, SketchUp, Solid, uh, Solid Edge and SolidWorks, you see that for the personal use license there are no commercial translators but for the startup license, the commercial license and the educational license yes they're included. Now down here a little further under industry standard file formats 123D, STEP, IGES, DXF, STL, FBX, OBJ yes everything is the same. There are some industry standard file formats that all of the licenses can import into Fusion 360 it's just the personal use one which has the commercial file formats disabled. So now back to GrabCAD let's, uh, let's download this one from Yokesh KS yeah, let's download this. That will save a zip file. Now let's go back and have a look at some of these other Geneva mechanisms. Here's one that is in uh, Creo Elements, that uh, is Pro Engineer. There's also a Step, IGES, and other. Let's have a look at this one. This is one of those industry standard formats and we'll be able to do something with that as well. 
So there's a folder. If I open the folder, you see all of the things that are available from Ravi Nayaka. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a comment there and thank him for it. Download the files. And we're getting another zip file there. And that's enough for this video. Okay, now I said that I would talk a bit about why you should use GrabCAD and why you should download free files from GrabCAD. Let's think about the way engineers work. Most of the time they're not starting things from scratch, they're going to be working on the same product that the company was making last year, but this time they're going to be working on version 3 or version 4, whatever it is, and they're going to be improving it, making it a bit better, and uh, working on the next one. So most of the time, engineers are going to be working on existing CAD models and modifying them. And you can save yourself an awful lot of time if you'll find something that's close to what you want. And because you're learning how to use Fusion 360, then you can take an existing design and you can modify it and make it better. Make it the way that you want that file to be and uh, make a much better mechanism. I'll see you next time.